رب العالمین و سلات و سلام علی نبینا محمد و علی علیہ و صحابہ و ازواجی اجمعین اما بعد فاعوذ بالله من الشیطان الرجیم بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم رب اشرح لي صدری و یسر لي امری واحلل عقده من لسانی یفقهوا قولی ربی زدنی علما اجمعین ان شاء الله می الله سبحانه وتعالى انکریز ان اول اف اس نالج السلام علیکم و رحمت الله و برکاته نائس تو سی یو بدر اینڈ سسٹرز جس تو ریمائنڈ یو بدر اینڈ سسٹرز فار دا اسٹڈی آف بک 3 دا ہیلپ آف حل و تمارین از ایکسٹریملی امپورٹنٹ سو آلویز ریفر سم ٹائمس اف یو آر کنفیوز اینڈ اف یو کین فائنڈ دا آنسرس refer to hallo tamarin of book 3 right? you will notice this from this lesson that how helpful hallo tamarin becomes you know in order to understand it correctly the concept and in order to write correctly the answers you know yesterday we went through the damayar for the sisters the new thing that we are learning here is uh, Damirun Nasbi Al-Munfasil, uh, which is Iyahu, Iyahuma, okay. And then we were trying to understand that there are certain conditions. Uh, if those conditions are present, then that Damir has to be used, no other Damir. Uh, and so what are those conditions? We remember that if it is from the same category of or same class uh, if the two pronouns are coming as a mafulun bihi uh, from the same category which is how many categories are there three what is it damir ghaib huwa huma hum damir mukhatib anta antum antum and then damir mutakallim so these are three categories Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So if the Damir, two of them come together from the same category, then one will be the normal, uh, and the second will be Munfasil. In other words, the one will be Muttasil, the one Damir will be Muttasil, and the second Damir will be Munfasil. Huh? Are you with me? You have to understand this. Huh? Then, if... Adamir Muttasil comes followed by Harfu Atfin then the next Damir which is Mautufun Allah what is before that has to be Munfasil after Harfu Harfu Atfin after Harfu Atfin eh? Inshallah we'll practice eh? everything is mentioned in the key eh? Do not get confused with key for book 3 and hallo tamari. Right? Two separate things. Then the third thing we studied that it will come after illa. Are you with me brothers and sisters? La na'budu illa iyahu. Then the fourth thing we studied that normally the mafulun bihi comes after the fi'al. But if the mafulun bihi precedes the fail, if the mafulun bihi precedes the fail, comes before it, then it has to be, then it has to be munfasil. Iyaka huh? na'abudu. We can say na'abudu ka. Now we want to bring that ka, which is muttasil, into front. There is no way ka can come. But When we join ka with iya, then it can come in the front. Iya ka na'abudu. Huh? And then there was one more thing <coughs> which I said, it's a hard check piece. And uh, I didn't do it yesterday, but today inshallah, we will try to understand that. And that is, you know, when there is a master. Are you with me brothers and sisters? 
when there is a master and there is a maf'ulun bihi for the master. Now this is absolutely, uh, totally a new concept. We are used to having maf'ulun bihi coming after worm. Huh? Now, in our advanced studies, we will come to learn that there can be a mafulun bihi for the master. It's all in the Quran. And then, I also said, since we are doing that, I will give you a little hint of a mafulun bihi coming for ismu file. Huh? And mafulun bihi can come for ismu maful. These are totally new things for us. But all these examples are present in the Quran. So inshallah, when uh, we study and we refer to Quran, things will become more clear. Mind you, <clears throat> still the most frequent mafulun bihi will be after the verb. But sometimes it can come. Mafulun bihi can come for master. And mafulun bihi can come for ism file. And mafulun bihi can come for ism maful. Huh? I want you to go to page number. We start after the exercise, you know. We go to section 2. 232. Page number 232. That is in the new book. But since I have a very old book with me, my pages are different, you know. Are you with me? Number two. Ad-Damiru imma muttasilu wa imma munfasilu. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Huh? Page number 232. Huh? Section 2. Ad-Damiru munfasil. Ma yabdahu bihi fin nutki. What is nutki, brother? Speech. Huh? Talk. Okay. What? You start with your speech. That damir will be munfasil. Example, brother and sisters. Huwa humahum. Ana muslimun. Okay. Then there is another condition. Yaka'u ba'da illa. What is the meaning of yaka'u? What is the verb? Waka'a. Al misal al wa'wi. What is the meaning of waka? It has got many meanings to fall, to fall down, or also to occur, to happen. It occurs ba'da illa. Okay. Ma fahimat darsa illa anta. Now anta is munfasil, but it came after illa. Either it will come in the beginning or it will come after illa. Now that was, brothers and sisters, damir rafa. Now, if it is damir nasab, then it is like iyaka. Ra'aitu. So, Iyaka is independent, comes in the beginning. Again, Ma Ra'aitu illa Iyaka. So, again the Damir came, Munfasil came after illa. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Number three, brothers and sisters, Iyaka Ra'aitu. Why it is iyaka used and not ka? Because it came before the verb. Huh? Huh? You can remember that. Huh? Fine. And after illa, iyaka came. Huh? So, iyaka is still mafulun bi for ra'aitu. But if you use illa, then you cannot use ka alone. It has to be iyaka. Huh? 